right, perfect. We're rolling when we're ready. All right. Another step back from me? Okay, perfect. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. You're cool. good. Mr. Brady Pierce, the Maverick, I'll tell you, I almost want to call you Big Match Brady because you're getting so used to being in the main event, especially this weekend against Wildcat heavyweight champion, two-time NWA world champion, Trevor Murdoch. Hell yeah. Uh, can I say that? Oh, good, yeah. yeah. So, you know, Trevor Murdoch is one of the greatest professional wrestlers to ever walk the face of this earth, and there's no question in that. But there's one thing Trevor Murdoch has never done before, and that's stepped in the ring with Brady Pierce. Now see, Trevor has a lot to lose going into this match. 10 pounds, a matter of fact. You see what, Trevor? I'm gonna help you out. You need to lose a little weight? <clears throat> I could use a little bit, you know? So, tonight at John Curtis, Trevor Murdoch, you will step in the ring with a Maverick. And you're uh looking at a new Wildcat champ. Uh, that's a promise, Brady? That's that a guarantee? That is a promise. That is a guarantee. Fantastic. And going to do it right here in New Orleans. Should I say River Ridge, Louisiana. John Curtis Christian, of course, proceeds are going to help the school as well. Good cause. But again, you're ready for tonight, aren't you? I'm ready. Look at me. Literally, I mean, I mean, look at me. Do I look ready? And yeah. you sound ready. You yeah. sound ready, believe me. A lot of intensity. I have nothing to lose. My whole career defines on this moment right here. Nothing to lose. As I said before, Trevor Murdoch has everything to lose tonight. And that's a scary place to be. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I feel like it's a scary place to be right here with you. I know you're ready. Talk to me a little bit about what Wildcat Pro Wrestling means to you and to win that you know, heavyweight title and what it means to be in the first big event back in New Orleans in 2023. Well, Wildcat is one of the biggest companies going today. I mean, you go to these shows and they're unlike anything you've ever seen before. I know a lot of people are familiar with the top companies like WWE and professional wrestling is based off the backbone of companies like Wildcat. So with that being said, if you have never experienced real independent professional wrestling, Wildcat is the place to go. Mark my words for that. Well, I believe you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be there tonight, and I can't wait. We had Luke Hawks in here last week, and what a great time spent with him. And, and Luke has just done it all. I mean, a uh, pro wrestler, wrestling promoter, yep. a founder of Wildcat Pro Wrestling, Wildcat Sports. Of course, uh, we see him every week on The Young Rock, uh, playing Stone Cold Steve Austin, a WWE legend, um, on Heels, uh, on the star show Heels right. with uh, yep. Stephen Amell. Yep. And, of course, NWA and, and Wildcat and so forth. What have you learned from your time with Luke as both a, maybe a fellow wrestler or right. promoter or whatnot? Luke is one of the hardest working men I've ever met in my life. And that's coming from the heart. Uh, Luke goes out of his way to help everybody in the community. Um, he is the most passionate person I've ever seen when it comes to actually caring. And I feel like that's why Wildcat strives to be on its level that it is. Um, and that's it is on him to have built a company to the standard that he has built it today. You know, great point. I tell you one thing I've taken away from my time with Luke, he's a grinder, but it seems like a lot of, of the members of the press, pro wrestling community are grinders. Would you consider yourself one? Oh yeah, you have to be. If you want to make it to a certain level in all of entertainment business, you have to be a grinder. You can't sit around and wait for opportunities to prevent, present themselves. So you have to take those opportunities, just like tonight, Trevor Murdoch, as we were saying, I'm taking my opportunity and I'm running with it. And of course, I love the fact that you give Trevor kudos as well Absolutely. for being a great champion, because you want to beat Absolutely. somebody, right? Absolutely. Trevor Murdoch, as I said, one of the greatest professional wrestlers ever lived, but he's never been in the ring with Brady Pierce. He doesn't know what I have to offer. And that's a scary thing. He might not know it yet, but that is a scary thing. Oh, absolutely. I gotta ask you, I asked Luke Brady, uh, how'd you get involved in pro wrestling and in, in the crazy world that is professional wrestling? Well, I know as cliche as it is to say, I grew up watching it on television. My dad would always take me to the wrestling shows wherever they were locally. We would travel, I mean, two, three, four hours away to catch these shows. And it's funny that you mention it, 
being a professional wrestling fan all my life, I literally grew up watching Trevor Murdoch in WWE. I have a vivid recollection of we were in Asheville, North Carolina one night, and Trevor Murdoch was in a tag team match. And his, his work is just tremendous. And I remember this as a kid. And now today, to fast forward, to know what I'm going in to Wildcat Sports to do tonight, it's unreal. Yeah. It is absolutely unreal. You know, I've had a privilege, it's funny that you say that, I had a privilege in interviewing so many uh, great members of the pro wrestling community over my career. And it seems like so many of them knew right away they wanted to, ch they choose this as a, as a profession. So you were the same one? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's so funny that you say that because in high school, people would always ask me, obviously, well, what's your plans after high school? Well, I want to be a professional wrestler. Okay, well, what do you really want to do? I'm like, no, I don't think you understand. I want to be a professional wrestler. I don't care if that means I don't make it. Because to me, if I don't make it, I'm just going to keep trying. There is not making it. You just keep trying until something happens. And that's what we do. We just go until we literally have nothing left to give. So yeah, it's an avenue I knew I was gonna take as soon as I had a game plan. I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Well, I know you're gonna empty the tank tonight. Yeah. And of course, that's Wildcat Pro Wrestling. It's January 21st, Saturday, tonight, if you're seeing this. And of course, bell time, 7 p.m. Doors open at six. Brady Pierce, the Maverick versus the Wildcat champion, two-time NWA world champion, Trevor Murdoch. I mean, I'm gonna be there, and I know definitely you will. Come join us. Perfect. Nice. Thank, thank you, brother. Is it easy? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, man. Thank you. No, yeah, thank dude. you. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, thank you. Was that all right, Lou? Huh? Was that all right? Yeah, he started cold, though. I did? He did. He was very unsure of himself and looking around and not sure. Oh, he nailed into that, that yeah. first promo. I, I'm going to be, that it, 10 yeah. pounds to lose, yeah. I got chill bumps. Are yeah, yeah. you, <laughs> uh, you ready? Yeah, we're ready for All right, we're going to switch out, Tim. Situation, like, when you, like Luke and I were talking about, mm -hmm. we were talking about watching me in North Carolina. Wildcat sports, woo! That emotion coming out. you got to somehow attach this, all of this. Do you know that so I know a Road Warrior Hawk right promo by heart from the AWA? Exactly. You know, once you got to that moment, you were very, you were it's, it's him and right, Animal right, right, versus right. Larry the Axe Henning yeah. and you Kurt Henning, all right? Attach that. I'm like, I'm hey, like, what are you so hot about? Well, you yeah, just yeah. keep hot, because you're going to need right. that temper right. for us. Right. You know, at New first York, I was the Meadowlands. Yeah. You're going to need every on, advantage you can get, get but it still ain't going to be enough. And the people in New York, they know it too. Ain't nobody in the stinking planet going to beat us. Tell them, Animal. And look at the camera. Huh? Talking to the camera. you you be turn like you know look at him sometimes. Yeah. You know Tell him, animal. You talking down. Trevor, did you hear my Road Warrior Hawk? So that was that yeah. was an yeah, AWA yeah. promo. Yeah. They had just beat up Kurt Henning and Baron Von Raschke. Kurt got That's his head more. tied in the yeah. ropes. They yeah, beat it sure. with a chair. Sure. And then they're gonna fight him yeah. and Larry the Axe in the Meadow Lakes. What do I have to say? You're the heavyweight champion. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, champ, we can get you now. Yes, sir. I'm not. Excuse me. But you know what? I will be after tonight. Trevor, you're two-time NWA champion, right? You want to get that belt back from Tyrus or what? I got other players, honestly. Okay. I got other players, but it's still towards gold. I'm going to tell you, he was on our TV in the sports department last night talking Gutfield and Fox. Oh, really? I'm going to tell you, we changed that channel, brother. We didn't give him no ratings. We're going to put it out, only. Yeah, it was gonna, I'm going to have to let you do it I can't see it. Sir, right. and we can just put these in your back pocket. Both of them. Yeah. Right. Hey, you, you know what? While 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 you're still here, because we're not going to mic up until we do Luke, we should block how we're going to do Brady coming in. Uh, what I'll do is get you when you go back in. I'm gonna have we're gonna I'm gonna, we're gonna set up where you want us, and we'll have Brady come in just to see what it's going to look like. So so we're framing all the same. Yeah, okay. No, we can totally do. Which way would you want him to come in then? Just here? Right here, I'll have him on camera four. Come in? Yeah, he'll come in like from like the background. Yeah. Right in. And then I, I kind of want him in shot, but he'll be, I guess he'll be, yeah, he'll be right here. Trevor will be here, I'm there. Because you don't have to worry about me then. When they're talking, and Brady, if you want to, when you're talking to him, if you want to then tell the audience, hey, you're talking, talking, if you, want, you go back to camera three, mm -hmm. and you just tell them, hey, whatever. 
and then Trevor will be talking to three and talking to you. We just want it to look just so natural, like this is not planned. Okay. And then Luke, we'll have you come in from my side yeah. and just, hey guys. Perfect. And I don't want you to have to, don't worry if you're getting in front of the camera or anything, because who cares? Like, in real life, you wouldn't do that. Right, right, you right, just right. get step in front of the camera, guys. You know? To be, to make it even, look, make you look even more funny, you can say it like Trevor, you the champ, so don't let him disrespect you. Oh, of course not. You know? So, uh, yeah. You say something like, because you've already told him. You're going to get punched in the mouth soon enough, sunshine, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll, yeah, I'll just react. And then you should look at the camera and say, yeah. you know what? Yeah. It, I'm going to get punched in the mouth, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know? Look at the camera. That 10 pounds could look good on me. That kind of, you know? yeah. <laughs> Just look at the camera. Tonight, Wildcats force. I'm gaining 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Should I go ahead and get on the mic then, boy? No, okay. I, I want it to be okay. natural. Because the studio will, will pick okay. it up. Just pick it up. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. We can always redo it, man. Yeah. yeah. But I, live TV, so. <clears throat> and then do so I you'll, you'll about thing? where that fan is right there? You'll come through there, just make sure you don't trip on anything. Hey, but you're going to have to bring it up. Like, you're not, like there's nobody in this room. Yeah. But I'm telling you now. Yeah, there's nobody here. It's us. But we're going to you're going to have to make it seem like there's a fucking audience of a million people watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you're going to. Okay, Trevor, we might check, my friend. Uh, one, two, one, two. Is that good? We're good. Is there a cue that when I come in? Mm hmm. Is there a cue for me to come in? Uh, well, you know what? We'll. Yeah, that would be good. Um,. After, after we do the, you know how we kind of talked about the, the match tonight, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, doors open at six, you know, yeah, bell time. Seven. After we get that in, and then you can just come, hey, 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 or whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. When, when you, on, on you. So you'll say, oh, you know, join us tonight at Wildcat yeah, yeah. Sports. Bell times, 7 p.m., yeah. doing at 6 p.m., and then Brady up. Yeah. Oh, no, you know, yeah. we yeah. ain't got to wait till 6 p.m. No, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We ain't got to wait till 6 yeah. p.m., that's my bell, you know? Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. Are you cool with that? Yep. Okay, you want Brady set uh, you want Brady set up in camera four shot right now? Okay, you uh, you 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 look at him now and tell me and I'll, I I can back him up or he can do I I like him right there cuz he's in front of the ropes. He doesn't have to walk over them. The cables. Is he look Oh, that looks great right there. But yeah, get that fan out though. That looks ugly. Looks like we got a podunk set. Your camera's three. Three, okay. Boy, you, you see me looking at two, you can look two. Okay. I mean, one, you can look good. You know, you know what to do. You're pro. I'm gonna try and set this up somewhere. Hey, am, am I? Am I that shot? You good? Okay. Are we good distance? You, you like that? Okay. We're not social. Uh, what was that called? Social, social distance. We're not doing it's the, the mic overlay. Okay. All right, here we go. We're ready. <clears throat> Trevor Murdoch. I tell you, when I think that name, Murdoch, it takes me back to when I was a youngster growing up right here in Louisiana, Mid-South Wrestling, and the one and only Dick Murdoch. Waxahachie, Texas. Yes, sir. Talk yes, sir. to me about living up to the name Murdoch. Man, what a chore it is, brother, because you talk about a guy who has laid a legacy for in pro wrestling. Um, I'm, I was trained by Harley Race, so it really wasn't that difficult. Harley and Dickie were, were real close. Um, and, you know, when you're trained by Harley Race, bro, you, you get put through the paces. Um, I couldn't go a more old school route than being trained by Harley Race. Uh, absolutely. One thing you did that Dick Murdoch never did was you, you won the NWA world title, not once, but twice. Definitely a dream come true. I, uh, I worked my backside off for that opportunity. Um, I never thought it would happen, but uh, lo and behold, Billy Corrigan revived the NWA and uh, gave me an opportunity to uh, become world champion. And I ended up beating Nick Aldis, the uh, current, uh, the modern era's current, longest running world champion in the modern era of NWA. You know, and, and I think about that, really, you had kind of, this opportunity kind of came to you at a time where you were almost thinking about, hey, I'm done. I was definitely on the back end of my career. Um, Harley had passed away and it kind of felt full circle for me, uh, especially starting with Harley. Um, but, you know, plans change just like pro wrestling does. And uh, they started up NWA again, and I got an invite. Uh, I was supposed to only really wrestle one match. And they had to talk me into that. Because I told them, I was like, come on, man, let's, I'm old, I'm old. Uh, they said, no, you're not. You know, and that's just my mind playing tricks on me. And uh, they said, come back for one match. And, you know, one match led to two. Two led to be a world champion. 
But, you know, following in those footsteps of a, of a Dick Murdoch, and, and you corrected me before we came on air, eight-time eight time, eight time eight world time champion, NWA world Harley NWA Race, um, they, they kind of hit their prime about this time in their lives. Pro wrestling has changed. It is a very, a very young sport, a young man's sport. Uh, Brady Pierce, the young man that I'm, that's challenging me for the Wildcat heavyweight title, young man full of aggression, works hard, hungry, very Hungry. intense, very, very intense, intense. And I dig it. I dig it. I've, I've met guys like Brady. But you know what? He's going to get an opportunity tonight to understand why I am the NWA, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, but current Wildcat Heavyweight Champion. So he's going to have a chance to sit under your learning tree tonight. So oh, we'll take him to the woodshed. You know what I mean? Let, let's come on. Let's be real here. Now, I understand, Brady. You look at me, and I got a little weight around my belly. I got a little fat beard. But... I like to punch people in the mouth. It doesn't bother me to be pretty. I'm not pretty. There's nothing, there's nothing shiny about me except what I'm carrying around my waist. I go, when I step into the ring, it's all about business. And I'm in the business of punching people in the mouth. Brady Pierce is trying to take something for me tonight. So I'm gonna go into business. Well, the only way he said he was concerned about was that 10 pounds right there. Of course, everybody wants to be Wildcat Heavyweight Champion. I don't blame him. I have no heat for him for one. That's, I'm on top of the mountain, and he wants to be on top of that mountain. So I, I'm giving him the opportunity. What he does with it is up to him. I gotta ask you, of course, you're here tonight, first Wildcat Pro Wrestling event in yes, Louisiana for 2023. As a matter of fact, I believe first wrestling event in Louisiana um, in the new year. Um, but I got to think, when you're, whether it's the Wildcat Pro Wrestling, if it's the NWA, uh, what do you take with you to these matches like the one tonight against Brady that you learned those many years of being a WWE superstar? Um, certainly, it's, you know, I, granted, I, I like going in there punching people in the mouth, but it is entertainment, and I am out there to entertain the fans. It's my job to take fans and bring them out of the realm of believability, to forget about the bills, to forget about the, the nagging wife at the house, to forget about the, the butthole boss. Um, and sometimes if you don't like me, you may associate me with the boss, but I'm, I'm there to take you and let you forget about reality and get sucked in to this thing called pro wrestling. And usually it's these grown ass men and women going out there beating the snot out of each other for the fans entertainment. You know, I'd be remiss if I don't go back to Harley Race for a Please. second. I know when you won the first NWA world title, you, you dedicated that win to Harley. What, was it in Kansas City? No, it was in St. Louis. Louis. I mean, yeah, sorry. At the Chase, nonetheless, where Harley, you know, the house of Harley Race. Um, you t uh, talk about a spiritual moment for me to be trained by Harley Race, to be a Harley Race guy, then to step into the chase and wrestle for the first time in 37 years wrestling hadn't been at the chase. To step into that building, sold out house, to wrestle for the NWA World Heavyweight title, and then at the end of it to have my hand raised, my wife and my children come running in. You can't ask for a more magical moment, to be absolutely honest, when it comes to pro wrestling. You know, did you hear, did you have any feedback? Did you get any calls or anything from Harley's family? Um, I, I, I spoke to his sister and I spoke to his son and, and you know, they were, were close. We, you know, we were close throughout the years, so they were extremely proud and happy that uh, not only myself, but a Harley race guy was carrying the NWA World Heavyweight title. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see you defend that title. Yes, sir. The Wildcat Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, and that's tonight at tonight. John Curtis. I mean, if you're watching this right now, especially on WGNO social media, the website, please, Know that the match is tonight, bell time, 7 p.m., doors open, I believe it's 6 o'clock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I hear that correctly? You're going to punch me in the mouth? Yeah, I'm going to punch out. you in the mouth. You're going to so take me to the woodshed? This ain't the place for Come it, on. Ain't, we don't have to wait to seven. Curtis. We don't have to wait to seven. seven. Come on, Why right has it got to be go. with the camera? Yeah. Come on. Uh, you're let's all, go. You're all hey, about hey, the cameras. I respected you. And you're going to punch me? Hey, cut it out. You better back off, sunshine. You better back off. You better back off. This ain't, yeah, you're going to do it in front of the whole world. I'm going to do it in front of the whole world. I'm not playing with you. Luke, you better tell him. You better tell him, Luke. Save it. You better tell him. Save it tonight. Save it. Okay, we're gonna cut there. All right, we got. All right, so can you? And then we'll mic Luke up now. All right, perfect. Right, perfect. Guys, that Good. was great. Good job. Bro. That was. That here. Good job. <laughs> Give me that. I missed that. <laughs> 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 they, 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 she came out. Yes, sir.
<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you good with that? You good? You good with that? Oh, yeah. Right you, you, were you happy with yeah, it? Yeah, completely. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, great job. Were you okay? Good job, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you see what I was doing? <laughs> I'm can about to get punched in the face. God <laughs> damn. Luke, you better tell him. You hey, better hey, tell Cody, him. Let's be, let's be honest. They were good, but I was, I was, was I good? Was I good? Well, let's... Do you think I got a career at this, uh, Cody? <laughs> hey, did you see that, Amy? <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're doing. We're just uh, doing an interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, come here. Come here. Just to show you that they're they're friendly people. Sometimes. I can use this little clip and I'll say like. Oh, oh yeah, do that. Yeah. I'll be like, things got heated. At WGNO. Yeah. Send yeah. that out. Yeah. yeah. Night now. Whenever you want. Okay, yeah. Luke. Okay, yeah, Trevor. Know, <laughs> and for, right. <laughs> Everyone's like, gee, there was a fight in the studio on Saturday. Nobody knew about it. Like, surprise, you started arguing. Well, let me take your mics. Wait, was that good or what? That was great. I love, hey, and I got Cody to come in for some extra security. Yeah, See that? Yeah, <coughs> All right, we'll get Luke on. Hey, thank you guys so much. We'll get you out of here in probably five more minutes. Let me take this off, big Did it look good? Dude, we, got, we almost got security called on us for real. It was cool. I would so get fired, too. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to have uh, there you go. Like something running. Oh, yeah, so it's natural. So, yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Thank you, sir. Am I asking for help there? Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm, I'm making this right here. Let's be honest. <laughs> You got Cody coming in? Yeah, Cody. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's just like a... oh, and the belt drop was amazing. I thought this actually might happen when the belt drop. Yeah, I thought this is... I'll put this on, on, yeah. on the Wildcat. And then we're going to... then I'll uh, clip that out and just say, look. And when y'all leave, I'm going to splice all three interviews together for a quick... And how this is how the interview got, got out yeah, of hand. Yeah, yeah, and then and I'll put that out right away. And they'll have the, we got lower thirds. Yeah, we got lower we thirds. We got lower thirds, the TV bug, like it just happened on live TV. Perfect. All right, TV set up again. All right, this thing is probably back pockets again. Trevor, do you think I kind of sold that a little bit though? Like I was, I mean, I probably made that, right? Or... <laughs> I mean, your perfect. belt drop was close. That's, that's, that's Let's actually have the strap around this way. Yeah, no, yeah, that was, that was again. good. Okay. But well, I now jumped you when you did it. it. That's what people were focusing on. Oh, you know, that's. Now, if you want to zip up your jacket, yeah. you can. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna leave it open. Is it okay? It open? Yeah, Buddy, I mean, you were good too, but yeah, I mean, yeah. oh, you, not, able, uh, actually, if you, could you know what the funny thing like is? Maybe, your timing was so good, it caught me off yeah, guard. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, we got trouble. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to go down a little bit more, you can. Because yeah. you said style You know, I told yeah, Luke, I don't watch any of the new stuff at all, and I'm not a big fan of the AEW or the WWE. But my thing that got me back into it was about two or three years ago, the NWA, oh, really? on the YouTube channel, yeah. because I grew up on Gordon Soley in that studio. That's where we were good. Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, bet you, I just loved it. I loved it. We got to get a picture, y'all. We got to get a picture, you, got, you and the guys. Oh, here. God, yeah, it, all, for, all of us. Yeah. But that was, that was good. <laughs> That's one of those TV moments. Yeah, rest. hell yeah. <clears throat> Luke, can you give us a mic check, buddy? Huh? Mic check? Mic oh, check. One, oh, two. Luke's. Is that right? No, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Check. One, two. He put it right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cody, you put it upside down. Cody, why did you put the microphone upside down? Because he wanted it to be distorted you, you, when I talk. You, no, but you see why you see why me and me tag team partner? I see why. Cody. See why, that's why a chair is going to the back of his head. Tonight, we'll five we'll slide, slide him in the ring. All right. Yeah. We're going to slide him in. Slide, we ready? Slide his ass right in the ring. That's what we're going to do. Am I still good? Because my mic <clears> might have just shorted out from that fight. Okay. We scared the hell out of the girls. I eh? maybe I thought I, should, I forgot. To. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trevor's gonna get us so much hate mail from the women's and wives. <laughs> I'm gonna toe run that. <laughs> Nagging ass wives. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm, I'm totally going with that. We're gonna get canceled today. <laughs> I'm going down. With, Cause I'm like agreeing to it. I'm like, yeah. Nagging ass wives. Uh, Nagging ass wives.
Okay, all right, we're rolling. That's why you don't get married. <clears throat> Whew. <laughs> I tell you what, that escalated quickly. Thank you. I'm glad you were here, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no First problem. Off, Aaron, but, that's not supposed to happen in a TV studio. Mm -hmm. But when you have two guys that are passionate about wrestling, passionate about a heavyweight championship title, what do you expect? Yeah. And, and, and look, they're passionate. They're ready to go right now. Forget tonight. They're ready to go right now, just, which, which makes me even more excited to see them in the ring tonight. Uh, John Curtis, by the way, if you've got time, if you're watching this now, you still got time, bell time, 7 o'clock, doors open at 6. It's Wildcat Pro Wrestling at John Curtis Christian. That's River Ridge, Louisiana. Uh, tickets are going, guys. I, I just got mine yesterday, and I think I may have got the best ones, the last of the best ones. But I'm telling you, this is going to be intense. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm a little flustered still. Woo. That and you're was, a big guy. I'm a big guy, but look, I didn't expect that from them too. Yeah. They're professionals. Yeah. I should have expected it yeah. because they are professionals. I should have known that once you get them in a room and you get Trevor and Brady, the yeah. tempers are going to flare and they're going to go head to head. My apologies no. to you. But yes, tickets are on sale. You can get tickets at the mm -hmm. door. We got a big action-packed card tonight. PJ Hawks versus Jace Valor. Killer Kate versus uh, Shiva. Uh, what else do we have? I know we have Buku Dao and Wildcard J Spade. Oh, in I, action. Looked, I, I looked at the lineup. It is star studded, top to bottom. Again, not only the first Wildcat Pro Wrestling event in 2023, it's the first pro wrestling event in New Orleans area in the new year. And, and we're here! We're here. I mean, we're here, baby. Our hometown, yeah, right? Uh, we New Orleans, are. Louisiana. Yeah. We're going to see Wildcat Sports. We're going to see your favorite hometown heroes in action. We are going to see your favorite local stars that you grew up with and came from your hometown, from Chalmette, from the West Bank, from Metairie, from Slidell, from Texas, from Shreveport. They're coming in from all over. I am freaking pumped. I can't wait. And of course, we just saw right here, we're going to have one heck of a main event tonight. And that's Brady Pierce, the Maverick versus Trevor Murdoch, the Wildcat pro wrestling heavyweight champion, two time, two time. NWA World Heavyweight Champion, and that's here tonight in New Orleans. Live and direct here tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going down. I'm telling you, you do not want to be, you do not want to miss it. Tickets start at just $15. Mm -hmm. Family friendly entertainment, a little bit of everything for everyone involved. You like action? You're going to be on the edge of your seat all night. You like comedy? You like some hard hitting, gruesome, just brawl it all out? got Trevor Murdoch for that. Absolutely. We saw that <laughs> right here. And listen, guys, you talk about affordability. It is family friendly. Look, I got front row tickets for, I think, what, $30, $35. And I'm telling you, anybody, we're all welcome. And uh, I'm going to see you there, right? Everyone's coming. You're going to see them there yeah. or you're going to see me there? I'm going to see, see you everybody there. We're going to see everybody there. Yeah. And I'll be wearing my Wildcat Pro Wrestling t-shirt very proudly. There you go, right there. Hey, Luke, thank you so much. Aaron, Woo, we dodged the bullet. Always a pleasure. We dodged the Let's bullet, get it in tonight, baby. Yeah, uh, we no, 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 no. <laughs> I tell you what, you're still welcome back anytime. Those two, I'm not so sure. Yeah, let's <laughs> get it, them, man. Let's get it. Keep Brady and Trevor on a leash next time. These guys are big and they are bad. Thank you. We'll see you guys tonight. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Perfect. Good. Uh, well, I, thank you.